Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing and I am just leaving, where we been? Smiths! I've just been to Smiths because that's how you keep kids happy that's so I believe but anyway where we're going now? McDonald's. McDonald's. I'm trying to work out how to get out here. It's like a maze trying to get out here at Park Gate, isn't it? Uh, <coughs> which way is it now, kids? Which way are you now down here? Yeah. Uh, getting on for the emails that I've just had regarding channel. I don't know what I'm going to do yet with channel. I don't know. It's. Uh, I'd like to go full time with it and uh, just do my best, but it's it's, uh, it's like a bottomless pit, isn't it? See where I'm coming from. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's nice that people can take time out to leave comments and and emails saying, "Yeah, we help, we help you out, Porky." So we're going to see, aren't we? I might do a Patreon. I might not. I don't know if I'm going to charge monthly or not. I don't know what I'm doing to be honest, but we're going to Please see. The road we're the alternative news, aren't we? I suppose. But for the moment, you know, you've got Porky for free. And you don't have to chip out in. But we're going to see, aren't we? But if anybody's got a problem, if we do look to that, well, I want you to go and set your channel up and let me know what you think about it. Let's see what you can do. Let's see what you're doing with your life. All right. Now, there's a lot of boxing on this weekend. Please follow the road for three quarters of a mile. Right. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of boxing on. There's the uh, golden contract thing on, isn't there? There's, uh, for, for those of you who are in South Yorkshire, there's a Steffi Bull show on, isn't there? Is it at Barnsley? Steffi Bull's show at Barnsley. There's that, you can go watch him. Uh, order here. What do you want? Happy meal. What do you want? Happy meal. Reggie, happy meal. What's that? Happy meal. Burgers or? No. What do you have then? There's chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. What drink do you want? One of them? Guy look pop or something. Fruit shoot, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so that's basically it really. Uh, so, but I'm going to get Terry on channel on Sunday and we're going to go over Lewis Ortiz's fight. Uh, hello? Uh, two, two Happy Meals, chicken nuggets with chips for kids that is. Uh, two Happy Meals, you know chicken nuggets? Fruit, your orange or blackcurrant? Two blackcurrant fruit shoots. Yeah, any sauces? Any sauces with that? No. no. Uh, Give me two red sauce with it just in case they change their mind. So yeah, I'm not coming so back. That's it, love you. Yeah. You what, love? Yeah. yeah, I can hardly hear you on your speaker thing. You need to get a new one. Alright, love. Yeah. There you go. Big company like McDonald's and Porky's got better tech gear than them. So, Friday night. <coughs> Think I should go out tonight, kids, to Mucky Pub? No. No, all right then. Did you get your babysitter then? No. What? <laughs> so is Dad stopping in tonight? Yeah. What are we gonna do? Play with them games you've just got from Smiths? Yeah. Well, that'd be good, wouldn't it? So I've got a shirt on for note then, have I? You think you know that Friday is Porky night, Poker night, Snooker night? Yeah, I owe you some dole of uh, oh, yeah, happy, happy meals, whatever it's called. Cheers. How's your day been? All right. Not bad. Not bad. You look like a cyborg with that thing on your head. All gone. You've all gone high tech, haven't you? You need to get a new speaker on machine down there, love. Okay, it's a bit distorted. Your speaker down there. All right. What now then? Is that just wait over here. All right. You see, if we'd have gone inside, kids, right? You'd have been in that, uh, whatever, play area an hour and I've got some on. So, you're already right, e eating them back here, aren't you? You're not going to make a mess, are you? You promise? Alright. You're not going to 
not in your mother's car now, you know. We have rules in Big Porky's car, don't we? All right. Can you ring mommy just if she wants something? She won't want anything. Too late now, anyway. So. Yeah, we've already ordered it. Well, she, oh, it's unlucky, isn't it? It's not a charity, Reggie. Cheers, love. Are they, Emma? Yeah. 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 She's wearing reindeers on her. Yeah, well, it's probably because it's Christmas. Yeah, are they reindeers? Yeah. Oh, I've just dropped some at love. It's your receipt. Oh, is it? All right. Well, I trust you. Yeah. Grab that. Cheers, love. You all right now? You happy now, yeah? Right, away we go. What is he doing in here? What are you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm going to have Terry on channel on Sunday. And uh, we're going to... Where's the bunny? What are you doing, love? You just parked up, love. What are you doing? Oh, is that a waiting bay? I don't know script here coming here, me, I'm an old I'm a, a fish and chip man, aren't I? I'm an Englishman in New York. Look at this here. Friday. Got that porky feeling on Friday where I just wanna let rip. I don't want to be coming here, Smith's and McDonald's. Bet Eddie Earn don't take kids kids McDonald's. Bet Eddie Earn's not even home. Somebody said to me, uh, I'm not gonna repeat his name actually, because I I'm, I quite like him, he's very funny. Do you know Eddie Earn, right? We counted up all his videos. It's becoming like an obsession, isn't it? But it's in front of your eyes balls, all the all the nonsense. It's over 7,000 interviews in 16 months. What's that workout at a day? We get out of here. What's that workout at a day, right? It works out at 16 months. How many days is that? 120, 500 days. It works out at about 12 interviews a day for 16 months. 12 interviews a day, now. I'd say it's more than that, mate. I'd say it's more than 7,000. Keep your rattle down here, I'm filming, yeah? All right, when we get up Clifton Hill, I'll turn it off and you can do what you want, yeah? So zip it till then. Uh, well, 12 interviews a day, right? For 16 months is 7,000, 7, isn't it? Right? What? Do you see where I'm coming from? And then, it's like I say to Dennis, Dennis, you and me, Kennedy, Frank Warren, and all them people, I don't think they get social media. You've got to give Eddie Earn credit. He gets it and he's got himself out there, but he's also got. I mean, I'm in the wrong lane here, aren't I? He's also got uh, the platforms, hasn't he? But where I'm a little bit cheesed off is, I know somebody, right, I used to be alright with him. I still am right, kind of alright with him, I know he's watching. He's got, he's got access now, right, now, don't say a word now. See, and there's other people I know that haven't got access to all these shows, and they're all going to change now, you're going to see some big changes, now, you're going to see massive changes. Now what amazes me is people who are boxers can turn into whores, managers and promoters, small promoters can turn into whores because they all want to work with him but he's got himself out there ready earning and he's in every interview, he's flooded the market with what we call hernitis, we are now all suffering hernitis, every time you turn on YouTube and look at boxing you see an Eddie Earn interview now. We all know who his favourites are, don't we? You've got about six or seven channels who are his favourites. And then you've got uh, other channels that are not his favourites, channels that he'll swerve. Now, I know a couple of kids in America that when Eddie sees them, he moves, he moves out of the way. He's not going to give them the, the answers now. Me, personally, I've got a load of questions that I'm going to ask him. But he's never going to give me the opportunity, is he? Never going to give me the opportunity. Oh, fair enough, when I was talking to him years ago. Porky, do this for me, put this out for me. Like a nodding dog. <laughs> yeah, alright. You feel like you 
because they give you a few tickets for one show, one show, free tickets. Other ones are paid for. Now, if they want to upgrade me, that's up to them, innit? But I'm nobody's bitch. Well, let me tell you this. Oi, what have we said here? We're gonna keep, there's no rattle, is there, till we get up, up here? So you can whisper, all right? Filming. Now, this is how I look at it, right? This is how I look at it. There's got to be fundamental changes in boxing for everybody else to get a slice of cake. Now, there's matchmakers now, right, that know what's going on. They can see it in front of their eyes. There's YouTubers, right, and people in the, I call it the old school media, Bunks, Jeff Powell, Gareth Davis. Now, Jeff Powell, Jeff Powell won't get in an inch, will he? He won't do what he says. So, he doesn't, he doesn't get any favours whatsoever. But certain people are going to get favours because they want to do it for a job, don't they? But it's got to be done the right way, hasn't it? It can't be done like it's being done at the moment. Now, it's like buying support. I mean, I'll, Dan Rayfield was bitching to somebody I know about it the other day. Dan Rayfield. <laughs> ESPN's in-house reporter, Dan Rayfield. Fat Dan. Do you know what I mean? Well, let me tell you this, fat Dan. I was as fat as you in 2013. One half fat years ago, kids. What, so we're not talking now? Oh, God. It's because you told us a whisper. Oh! <laughs> yeah, all right, then. Well, you carry on eating your chicken nuggets. Point I'm trying to make is I was as fat as fat Dan, right? And that fat Dan... He ain't shifted no weight, has he? Do you know why? It's because they're all perks he gets at ESPN. All Fat Dan does, he goes to press conferences and cleans up. He's like letting a dog out in a kennel and not being fed for three weeks. He cleans up. But like I said, the favours that are getting done by the media at the moment, by Earn for the media at the moment, are shocking. Some of you YouTubers should hang your heads in shame. For example, Hatman Strikes Back. Why is Hatman Strikes Back putting constant videos out saying that Deontay Wilder against Ortiz has flopped with the tickets? All American shows flop. Basketball, NFL and baseball at main sports in America. So, as far as I'm concerned, Hatman Strikes Back is an in-house journalist for Eddie Hearn. He does it for a living. He puts a Patreon out and nobody questions him, do they? It's one of them things, isn't it? But the point I'm trying to make is this. Hatman Strike Back's video, his thumbnail in massive letters says, FLOP! But yet, yeah, Luis Ortiz is a Cuban with 500 and odd amateur fights. He's a, a two-time Olympian, I believe. Southpaw and he's a massive puncher as well. Nobody wanted to fight him. I'm not going to say who told me this, but I know for a fact that Tyson Fury didn't want to fight Lewis Ortiz a few years ago when they got offered the fight. I know for a fact. Do you see anybody queuing up to fight Lewis Ortiz? Do you see it? No, you don't, do you? You don't see anybody queuing up to fight Lewis Ortiz. They don't want to fight him. Wilder's fighting him twice! Twice! Who else has fought Ortiz? Do you know Wilder could get beat? He could get beat tomorrow night, Wilder. He could get beat. Deontay Wilder can get beat tomorrow night, let me tell you. And do you know if he gets licked? Let me tell you this. They'll have a rematch clause, and him and Fury won't meet. Now, personally, I think Wilder will take care of Ortiz. I hope he does. I'm a massive Wilder fan. He's very, very, very close friends with Richard Towers, who's, who's Den's mate. He'd become a pal of mine as well, fruit, fruit boxing. He's very close friends with Deontay Wilder, Richard Towers. They speak all the time. They're ex sparring partners, the family men. Uh, obviously, Richard's uh, had his problems in the past, but he's come right, he's turned full circle, hasn't he? Like me. I'm ready for some more magic trees, aren't I? But the point I'm trying to make is this. I don't think the Fury fight will happen. I think there's too many obstacles. But if Wilder gets rid of Ortiz, it's on Tyson Fury then, isn't it? 
but there's certain people close to Tyson running around saying that why should he give Wilder a payday for what money they're talking when he's got the bigger profile? What? Tyson's not even got a belt. He's over four year. He's into his fifth year now. Tyson's into his fifth year without a top top win. He beat Vladimir in 2015. Well, the fight's booked for 2020. So Tyson should be thankful. Just take the millions on offer, fight Wilder, and show us you can box his ears off. Wilder says he can knock you out. You say you can box his ears off. I don't believe you can after watching Otto Wallin fight. Because if you can't get Otto Wallin out there, when we're cut on you now, there's something wrong. When you said you could beat him with two hands with time behind your back. Now, what I'd like to see is, some of these fighters at match room, and I've heard they're gonna put Ergovic in with Otto Wallin. Now, how could we not like back Ergovic fighting Otto Wallin in about his, what, 10th fight or something? Tyson's fighting him in his 29th or something fight. Look, I don't wanna say this because it's a cop out to end all conversations. Boxing's a business and it is what it is. I don't ever wanna say that, but boxing is a business and it's just like, it's just like having a factory, in it? If you've got a factory, say for instance, there's Polypipe and there's Epworth building products, they all do the same thing, and it's two big factories in the same, in, in the same village. Now, if you've got them, one of them factories, you're gonna try and block other one. And that's no different to Eddie Earn, getting uh, people on t ticket deals to keep constantly, constantly, constantly reporting me to Twitter so I said right next time I set a Twitter account up we're only going to put videos out we're not going to put out uh, tweets and then they still kick you off because they're constantly 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 complaining to Twitter about me because Twitter's like 30 odd percent of my uh, views they're going through Twitter this is why I'm having to put extra time in for YouTube because Twitter I'm not bothered about it now they can get stuck not, it's not a police thing, is it? YouTube uh, isn't as well, to be honest. All these people who comment on YouTube, the majority of them are not registered YouTubers. They're just people setting an account up off a dodgy email. That's all it is. They want to blow some steam off and think they're tough. They're not. But they wouldn't be doing that. You don't, you don't see me coming out with abuse, do you? On the comment section on Porker's Corner, do you? Because... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, spoil it for myself, am I? Because if I get kicked off YouTube, that's it. I'd probably sack it all together. I'd probably go uh, and do something else. I think that boxing, it's a closed shop at the moment. You've got to play ball. Dennis keeps saying, "Play ball, play ball." I don't want to play ball with certain people. When I was a kid, I always was to be one of them people going up football field. I always had the ball or the cricket bat. But there were certain people that I didn't want to play with. And it's like this with boxing and certain people, I don't like how they go about the business. If them people were involved in, say, something else, along, uh, some other business, I wouldn't want to deal with them people. I think, no, I'll not deal with them people. And that's up to me, isn't it, what I deal with, but it is what it is, isn't it? See, I said it, it's habit, isn't it? But like I said, I don't like... Do you want, do you want the sunroof open a bit more? Yeah. Yeah? All right, to go, yeah? What colour is it on when we go? Green. What do we do when it says red? Stop. Stop. What about when it goes yellow? That means put it in gear, doesn't it? To go. To go, yeah. All right. Do I ever go through red? No. No, why? What happens if you go through red? You get crashed. You get crashed? <laughs> oh, yeah. You do that. We've learnt from them mistakes years ago, haven't we? But the access thing is starting to come out now, isn't it? All these people have been exposed. All these Twitter people, and like I said, it's the same old people sat at a computer all day doing nothing except tickle people's feet. And they've done a lot of damage, haven't they? They've done a lot of damage, these people, along the lines, but people like Dennis Hobson, my good friend. Do we like Dennis? Yeah. Why do you like Dennis? 
Why do you like him? Because he's funny. Look, people like Dennis need, you can't talk, you know, no. People like Dennis need to up the game, don't they? They need to up their game. Dennis has had a Twitter account about 10 years on this, 6,000 followers. He don't get it. He ain't got time to mess about with stuff like that. He's not just boxing, is he? He's other things, isn't he? He's 80 people to, to worry about, hasn't he? Now, he's got to have his mind on, on job. Now, if he's got me there doing a lot of damage, hammering certain people, it's not good, is it? But I'm my own man, aren't I? I'll have a Dennis's show next week if it's crap. Too right, I will. Ask Mick Whale. You've got no favour from me. You don't put no money in my pocket, which I know. We have to speak the truth, because when you speak the truth, we have facts, don't we? And we know what we're doing. We get to see the facts, we get to see what's going on. If we don't speak the truth, well, you've got mayhem, haven't you? You've got people just doing what they want, taking liberties. There's a lot of liberties being took in boxing at the moment. There's a lot of fighters not getting the money that they should get. There's a lot of chances going to people who shouldn't get chances. KSI, Logan Paul. How are they headlining a pay-per-view? And why is Adam Smith using that as a yardstick, saying, well, we've just charged you a tenner for KSI fight when we could have charged more? What planet are these people on? Do you know what I think planet they're on? They're on, they're on planet Prince Andrew. They're out of touch. Prin, Prince Andrew, in my opinion, is out of touch with reality. They're out of touch. David Cameron and all these people. You can go on forever, can't you? It's a society problem. The rich get rich and the poor get poorer. And I think that Eddie Hearn and all his cronies pulling it up that extra fiver, to them it's not even a pint of beer because it's six quid a pint of beer, isn't it? It's sugar up. Uh, six, look. They're out of touch with reality. They are out of touch. And David Cameron saying, well, these food banks, we've, we've given them two chances to go to food bank. What more do they want? Well, after that, it's soup kitchens, isn't it? What, we're not going to be like 1930s? Soup kitchens. These people are out of touch with reality. That's what they are. Out of touch with reality. And Adam Smith, public school, coming out there and fronting it out. We didn't consult Eddie Hearn. He was telling me Eddie Hearn didn't know what's going on. It's just lie after lie after lie. Do we tell lies or do we tell truth, kids? Truth. Why do we tell the truth? So we don't get in trouble. That's it, so you don't get... Trouble. In trouble. That's why we tell the truth, don't we? Yeah. All right. What happens to people who don't <laughs> tell the truth? They get in big trouble. They get in yeah, big trouble, don't yeah, they? Yeah, that means they're telling fibs. That means they're telling fibs. Does Eddie Hearn tell fibs? Yeah. Does he, Ruby? Does Eddie Hearn tell Fibs? So do we like Eddie Hearn? Yeah. Do you like him? There you go. That's what happens. Because when you tell a lie, you got to tell another. You know, if you get caught for something criminal, you know what you should do? You just go no comment, don't you? You don't say anything. And you don't purge your scent. Now what we've got now, we've got lie upon lie upon lie, passing the book. Eddie Hearn didn't know Sky were putting it up five pound. Do I look like a lollipop? Hey, Does my head look like a tatey? Does my head look like a potato? No. No, there you go. Do I look like a lollipop? No. No, right. So why are they lying to us? Why is Mr Bean lying to us? Why is Mr Bean a liar? Telling lies, isn't he? So I can't be lied to, so I won't be buying it. Hopefully I'll go down my cousins and watch it. She's got a few quid. We'll go down there and watch it. They're, they're casuals, they'll buy it. Oh, well, it's only a fiver. Well, get ready, I'm going to come and I'm going to drink all your beer. Tony, Steve, I'm going to come and watch it at yours. I might go to Brian's, he's got her, uh, one of them fire sticks. <laughs> <laughs> not getting my 25 nicker. It's only a pony, it's only a pony. 25 quid's a pony, look. What happened when it was 15 quid? Then 17 <laughs> quid. 
then 20 quid. We had no explanations, and now they're just saying it's boxing, it's a business. They're just doing it, it's like Smido says, because they can. What are we on here? 25 minutes. They're doing it because they can. That's why they're doing it. That's all they're doing it, because they can. And it's got to the stage now where we're being lied to constantly. And these people are just blagging it. And I'm fed up of it, man. The road. I'm, bla I'm fed up of it. I'm fed up of hearing it. Driving me mad. We're going to an ulcer. We're being, we're being, these people are part of the new world order. You think it's not true? I am telling you now, it's a conspiracy. These people are part of the new world order. They are doing what they want. They're doing what they want. They can get away with this fiver thing. So, anyway, I'll take my kids back to the mams and then I'm uh, gonna go out. Where's your toys? Oh, your boots. I forgot we had man. So, have you enjoyed your McDonald's? Yeah. We ate it? Yeah. We ate it? Yeah. You must have been starving, were you? I've only got to eat my chips. Have you only got your chips left? Right. How long is it in the world? It's another about five, six mile now. It's because of the traffic, Ruby, that's all. I can't. We can't be going fast, can we, on these lanes? So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. This is the only video going out today. <laughs> I'm just going to set this up now. I don't know when it'll go out because my, my computer's uh, not as fast as one in office. I can get them out really quick then. And what I'm going to do then, I'm going to put a video out on Saturday, just previewing fights. Probably do one after a couple of shows. And then I'm going to get Terry Chap and Dharma on on Sunday. I'm going to write a script of a weekend, they're all going to be questions from me. If anybody's got any questions for Terry Chap and Armour from Highfield Boxing, or the, from the Beautiful Boxing, it's at Highfield Boxing on Twitter, I'm not on Twitter, but if you've got any questions for Terry on Sunday, send them me in. But you're going to have to be quick because they're going to have to be sent in by email, because I'm going to do scripts now and it's going to be like a three hour job. Been and got another battery from the shop. We've got enough batteries now to do a proper go through it all and then get his technical uh, opinion <laughs> of it all because he's very deeper than me, Terry. But it words it a bit better. All right. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting <laughs> boxing. It's a fantastic sport. You all right? You got a bit of flu coming on. You got a cough. All right then. I'll shut some off then. Peace out, keep on trucking. Boy, you can talk now. How many more miles and then we're home? 4.4. Wet, isn't it? See that then, a rabbit? You just missed it there. You get loads of them round here. Keep looking. I'll put a main beam on, see if you can see them running across. With the edges. Oops. Blind it, blinding him then. Which way do you want to go, straight on or left? Quickest. Straight on. Which is the quickest? Probably left, but left. it's another mile, but it's probably quicker that way. You want to go through my covering, yeah? I'll go through here then, yeah.